Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Slate Code Question 1697 that says checking existence of edge length limited paths. So guys this question is a very unique question and also interesting one. So uh, by going through this question and writing the code you will learn a different use case of DSU or Union Find Data Structure. So yeah guys like this video and stick the, the end. Here you are given one undetected graph of n nodes consisting of edge list that represent the edge between node u, node v and the distance between these two nodes u and v. And we note there can be multiple edges between two nodes. So if you see this graph, uh, here there is a one node, node 1 and node 0. So there are two edges, one edge with a distance to another edge with a distance 16. So that means that uh, between two nodes there can be multiple edges, right? Further you are given one array queries where queries of y represent the node p, node q and the limit. And your task is to determine whether there exists a path between node p and q such that the edge on the path has a distance strictly less than limit of j. That means uh, if all the edges that come along the path p and q must have their length less than limit of j, right? Less than the limit. So we need to return the boolean array answer uh, for each query. So guys, if you take a look at the first example, so here you are given one uh, graph with three nodes and these are the edges. One edge between one and two of a length four, two and zero of a distance eight, one and zero uh, of a distance two and sixteen. Now the first query uh, says that a node zero and node one, zero and one and two. This is the limit is two. Do, you, do we have any edge between zero and one with less than two? No. We have we don't have at max it is I means the minimum is two and we want less than two because the question says strictly less than the limit. So yeah, that's why there is no such path. That's why we return false. Now uh, between zero and two, zero and two, do we have any path where all the edges are strictly less than five? Strictly less than five. So see if you look at this path here, here this edge is of uh, length uh, is of distance two. This edge is of distance four. So in, along this path, all the edges have the distances strictly less than 5. That's why we return true. So yeah, got this, understood the question. Now talking about the second example. Here you are given 5 edges. And these are the queries, right? Between 0 and 4. Is there a path available where all the edges are of distance less than 14? Between 0 and 4. So you can see that all these edges 10, 5, 9, 13. They are less than uh, 14 right so yeah we return true between 1 and 4 is there any is there a path less than th less than 13 no see here this path is of uh, length 5 this is of distance 9 or length 9 here this is of 13 and there is no other weight from 1 to 4 apart from this so that's why there is no such path with a uh, edge distance less than 13 or uh, for all the edges there uh, so yeah for that we return false so I hope you guys have now some understanding what this question is trying to tell now in order to solve this question see what you can do, what one way you can do is uh, you can see the, you you are given this edges list you can create the adjacency list right adjacency list now for each query for each query what you can do is you can make a bfs a traversal and a bfs traversal from a node one of means in a in a query you are given like this node one node two and limit so you can make a BFS traversal from a node 1 and what you can keep track is along with node 1 you can keep track of maximum uh, edge in current path. So you can also track this variable. So in a queue you can take a pair, you can take a pair and you can track this the current node as well as the maximum edge in a current path, maximum distance edge in a current path. So yeah. If you you will uh, by doing BFS you can approach different paths and for each path we will track what is the maximum edge right and if you find any such path uh, we, whose maximum edge length in the current path is less than limit then we will return true then in that case we will return true got it now the question here is does this satisfies the time complexity so for that let's check how many queries length see queries length are up to 10 to the power 5 okay and the edges length is also up to 10 to the power 5, right? So uh, let's say there are 10 to the power 5 queries and each time you are making a BFS call. So for a BS, BFS call, there, there are n nodes. So each time you have to traverse these n nodes. Okay. 
or basically you are traversing if you are traversing all the edges and also it will take 10 to the power 5 so the overall time complexity here would be greater than 10 to the power 9 this is greater than uh, 10 to the power 9 so that's why this will give you tle or time limit exited error so guys if you try to do this approach by doing bfs each time for each query then it will give you tle this is because that in a bfs you are repeating some of the task let's say uh, in node 1 to node 2 node 1 to node 3 uh, you have to find the uh, in the one query you are given to find with the distance between node 1 to node 3 and another you are given to find node 2 to node 3 so if you have computed here node 1 to node 2 to node 3 uh, the minimum path for this then again you have to compute this right node 2 to node 3 this is repeating these things is repeating if you make a unique bfs for each time so yeah guys in order to stop this we have to think of some better approach now what can be a better approach so so what if what if we make a graph dynamically uh, we make graph dynamically so let's say uh, what we can do is we can first thing you can sort query based on limit sort query based on the limit the, uh, let's say we did this so if you have some query like this n1 n2 um, let's say here it would be n1 n2 and let's say 10 n2 n3 7 n1 n4 6 so yeah we sorted like this n1 n4 6 n2 n3 7 and n1 n2 10 okay we sorted like this now what we will do is we can do one thing that we can dynamically build the graph we can dynamically build the graph but the how so we will take node uh, we will take all the edges from the edge list whose uh, whose distance is less than six whose distance is less than six and with those edges create graph with those uh, edges create graph now afterwards for this query we will check is n1 and n4 connected we will check is n1 and n4 connected and if we, if they are connected then return true else false because uh, in the current graph we have only edges whose distance is less than 6 and in this current graph if n1 and n4 are connected then we will return true yeah got this so this is one way to approach right we can think of this approach that we will dynamically create the graph we will create based on adding those edges whose distance is less than the current limit and in the current graph if n1 and n4 is connected then return true see this way it will work because the next query will have limit greater than the current limit and yeah previously edges are added so uh, the edges that are not added then only that only we have to look for right now how to, how to create a graph by adding edges uh, whose uh, whose answer is whose distance is less than current query limit how we can do this how we can do this right this is our question how now this can be done efficiently by using a famous data structure that is destroyed science union or you can say union fine so this union fine function uh, union fine data structure has two main function that is make union and find parent and we will use this two function efficiently see adding the edges can be easily done by this make union this function and whether n1 and n4 are connected so we need to check whether these two nodes are connected or not also this also we need to check so this thing can be checked by find parent right so this destroyed set union has all the functionality that we need to perform this right in order to perform this this dsu has all the functionalities that will help us to perform this right now see here we are uh, adding the edges whose distance is less than limit we are doing this a add edge with distance less than limit so we are doing this but how we can do this for that what also we what else we can do is we can sort this we can sort edge list edge list uh, this array is that we can sort this edge list based on distance right so this will help us to uh, to keep up uh, idea that how many edge list how many edges from the edge list are remaining to it and how many are added we can simply put one pointer and traverse all the uh, edges right edges in the edge list and add those edges 
until the distance until edge least of i and 2 2 means the distance that is the second parameter is less than limit so until this thing what we can do is we can run a loop and make union right make union is nothing but uh, add the edges in the current graph right so yeah we, we can also sort these edges array that it will make us easily identify how many edges are remaining how many edges are added with the help of this i pointer right so yeah now combining all these things what we are doing is we are sorting the given query array we are sorting the edges the edges list then we are using this dsu to make the union that is at the edges inside the current graph and then after that after that we will check in the for the current query for the given nodes are these two nodes connected if they are connected then we can say yeah uh, uh, there is an a path between this n1 and n4 such that each edge distance is less than the limit then only we can say so we will return true for that so yeah guys combining all these things let's move on to the coding part see this ds2 data structure i took it as it is this code snippet i didn't change anything from the code snippet right it is as it is i have used you now initially i took the number of queries and number of edges uh, in this variable and first thing what i did is since uh, we are sorting this queries array but we need to return the answer answer variable based on the queries index so we need to keep track of queries with their index right so that's why i uh, took another vector of vector 2d vector queries with index and uh, stored the query so so to store the queries what i did is i, st uh, I first stored the limit then the node one node two and the pointer or the index i this is nothing to track the index right but i stored the limit in the first parameter so that we can directly sort them we can directly sort them now to store to sort the edge list what we have to do i, I we have to compare based on the distance right based on the distance we have to sort so the distance is the second parameter so that's why we have to write this function else it will sort based on the first parameter only that is the zeroth index parameter but the distance is there the second index so yeah additionally this function is required right now then after that we took the answer there is a boolean vector and the current edge index so the current edge index is the last edge that we added to our graph you can say like this so now we will traverse for each queries and we will build the graph dynamically okay we'll build the graph dynamically so here what we are doing is uh, these are just to uh, to keep track of the uh, all the qu the current query the nodes that are present in the current query so here this while loop is very much important so here what we are try trying to do we are looping until the current edge index is less than any that is total number of edges and the edge list uh, of the current edge index is less than limit that is the current edge index distance is less than limit so all the edges which uh, which are less than limit we are taking them and we are forming this graph by using make union we are forming the graph right so inside this edge list we have we also have node 1 and node 2 that are two nodes between whose the edges is there and we are making the union right and then incrementing current edge list so see this current edge list is outside this for loop it is here so the next time the edges that are already added we don't add them back right uh, because this is uh, global for the current this this is global for the for loop and the while loop right it is declared here so yeah guys the all the edges that are already added we don't add them back and only the remaining edges whose distance is less than the limit are added right and at the end after this while loop ends we check whether the p1 and p uh, whether the node 1 and node 2 is connected the node 1 are for this query and node 2 for the q1 query are they connected to know whether they are connected or not we check for find parent if their parents are same then we can say they are connected this is how dsu works for all the nodes in a current component dsu does what dsu make their parents same so let's say in this component you have n1 n2 n3 n4 and 5 nodes then dsu does what it makes uh, their parent same it's it does this it will make all these nodes parent same so yeah we will check if there is some connection between node 1 and node 2 then we will return true to the index of the answer right and the end we return the answer so yeah guys i hope you understood this question understood uh, the approach that we are trying to do i know it's a bit hard to build the intuition for this question right the intuition building part is very much hard because uh, this uh, you must know that with dsu also with dsu what we can do is we can dynamically build the graph 
you must know this and then only you can think of dsu otherwise intuition building was a hard for this type of question because this question is a unique one of a kind so yeah that was the reason now talking about the time and space complexity the time and space complexity are easy to guess here see the time complexity is nothing but big o of n that would that would be taken when you initialize the dsu plus big o of uh number of queries that are the n q log of n q because we are sorting all the queries plus big o of any that is number of edges uh log of any this is nothing but sorting uh, takes n log n sorting takes n log n n log n so that's why for query sorting and for edge sorting this will be time complexity and space complexity would be uh so first thing we are storing the queries here additionally additionally we are storing the queries so let me take this as nq although th this is the 2d vector but uh this is a fixed length of a length four so we can we if we won't count then also it's okay okay and uh additionally the we are uh, the additionally space would be for big o of n as we are uh taking this rank and parent vector inside this dsu and apart from from that uh we are we are not storing anything so this is for the time and space complexity so yeah guys that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you